How's everybody doing today? Welcome to another video of Top 3 Tech. Today we have uh, RX 6700 XT. It's going to be a little hard to say. The XFX Performance Gaming Graphics since 2002. The series is AMD Radeon RX Beaster series. The edition is Merc 319 Black. And if you've been trying to get a 6700 XT on the market, you're going to want to Merc the competition because that's the only way you're going to get it. So don't hate on me because I got these cards. One of them was my cousin's. This one is one I got legitly. So let's get into it and hope you guys like it. unbox this right now we'll do the unboxing we'll do the physical review we'll check out the specs we're gonna compare it to some special graphics cards I don't want to ruin it yet you guys might have caught on what it was if you looked at the background and then we'll do the benchmarks so let's go to it so I'm not too sure if you guys like um, the open box part of it I'm not sure if you guys like the benchmark part of it but I'm doing what I feel is right I feel like since we're spending so much money on these actual boxes that the presentation should be nice. If you watched my Sapphire Pulse video, you would notice that what you paid for wasn't the best, um, what you got packed. But this is black box, already looks nice. Let's go ahead and open it up. The foam, the legendary GPU foam. Oh, this is thicker than the than the ASRock Phantoms one. It comes with these two cards. It's a stop. No driver disc included in this product. Please connect to the internet to download the latest drivers to receive all the latest optimizations and bug fixes. Okay, okay. Wow, big old box for this skinny little card. I thought this card was going to be a little fatter. I thought it was going to be a little fatty, but there you go. Look at that. It doesn't look as nice as that ASRock kind of gaming yet. Ooh, am I going to have to cut into this? I'm gonna have to, oh, another tape right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. determines whether I keep the card or just throw it in the trash. Sorry, trying to keep my hand out of the camera. Like I said, this is a physical review as well as a... Alright, it redeemed itself. Look at that. Okay, so this is the front of the GPU. This is pretty much what you're not going to see. So, I mean, it doesn't matter that it looks too plain, but I will admit they missed the mark on that middle card. It says triple X. They should have put an F on there so it can say XFX. The, the PCIe uh, cover right here has XFX on there, so they didn't miss the mark there. Look at that beauty down there. So on the back of the card, we have Merc in white letters, which actually looks really nice. 
we have the XFX right there carved into it. That also looks nice. Under, or not under, but to the left of the two pins, or the two eight pins. Jeez, I'm all over the place. Um, there's the BIOS switch. Right now it's on performance, closest to the power. And if you go to the left, it'd be on silent mode. I'm just going to leave it on performance because why not? This lights up. We'll go ahead and check that out once it's plugged into the computer or into the motherboard. Oh, OMG, you guys. I'm messing up. How terrible. I actually like how this looks. It looks pretty unique compared to other cards. Kind of gives it like a Darth Vader vibe. Or um, the people on the Death Star. How they had their helmets all crazy. And then on the back of here is the three display ports the one HDMI 2.1 it also says X XFX and on the bottom of these as you guys can see it says XFX as well so pretty nice looking card overall so to start this lineup we got the X XFX um, RX 6700 XT the Merc 319 look at that then we have the ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT and we also have the AMD um, Radeon 6800 Sapphire Pulse. This one has no RGB on it. This one has a RGB fan in the middle and on the top and this one has no RGB fans but the letters light up. So that's just a quick comparison of these three. So between these three the Pulse and the Merc, they both have a switch to turn off or to turn on the fans, um, silent mode or performance mode. They're already on performance. And the ASRock has a switch to turn on the LEDs on and off, which is somewhere back here. So the Merc 319 looks like it's the longest card, and the 6800 Sapphire Pulse and the, the ASRock are about the same size or same length. So it's hard for me to pick which one I like the most out of the designs on the back. I really like the Merc, how it stands out, and how it has the XFX etched on there. The Phantom Gaming looks pretty dope as well. I don't like the Fast Mysterious uh, Unbeatable, that's a little odd, but I mean, that can't be too bad. I really like the Sapphire Pulse design, it's kind of simple, but I mean, it looks pretty dope. I guess my favorite would be the Sapphire Pulse, maybe I'm biased. Which one do you like? Which design of the back do you like better than you? The back plate? I really like the Merc. The Merc? Yeah, that looks crazy. <laughs> but they're all nice cards. It's really hard to pick between the three. They all got their features that look dope. The side of the Merc looks the best because these you can't even tell. <laughs> so I'm not gonna lie, this uh, Merc 319 looks way better installed. It, um, the bottom lights up. The XFX, the Radeon 6700 XT. Uh, these wires look ugly blocking it though. I kind of wish they put those pins under, but I mean, this is a long card. Look, it barely clears my Lee and Lee Lancol 2. I mean, I could scoot this back more, but if you have a, if you have a smaller case, it might not fit. So, I mean, it's a, it is a really nice looking card though. The front, the front of it is very plain, but I mean, you don't really look at it too much anyways. It's pretty much a butterface. Okay, guys, to start today's benchmark, we have the XFX Speedster Merc 319 6700 XT. And um, before we get started, I just want to let you know, I do have the 5800X as the um, CPU. I have 32 gigabytes of um, 3200 Corsair RAM. So, and the Asus X570 Tough gaming motherboard. So that's what we're going to be working with. Those are the common denominators. And so to get this started, the Merc 319 has uh, 22, 
26, 22 megahertz boost clock, 12 gigabyte of DDR6 memory, RDNA2 architecture. It does have one HDMI 2.0 slot, three display ports, and um, the minimum PSU that you can use for this is 650. And then after that, we would be going to the um, ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT. That's going to be compared to this. It's about a hundred dollar difference in price. Um, this has 26, 22 megahertz boost class, tw 12 gigabyte DDR6 memory, RDNA2 architecture. It also has one HDMI and three display ports. And same thing, the minimum um, PSU that we can use on this is 650 watts. And then we're also going to compare it to a Sapphire Pulse RX 6800. The megahertz is at 2310 boost clock. It's 16 gigabyte DDR6 memory, RDNA2 architecture as well. And same amount of HDMI, same amount of display ports. Um, and the same thing for the PSC, the minimum would be 650. And the first game, or not even game, but the first program that we are going to compare it to, uh, compare the three is going to be MSI Combustor at 1440p uh, frame. The frames per second, uh, the Sapphire Pulse starts at 43 frames. Um, the fan, the Asrock Phantom Gaming is 38 frames. And then the Merc actually beats uh, the Phantom Gaming with one frame per second at 39 frames. So, so far so good. At 1080p, the Sapphire Pulse 6800 uh, does 49 frames per second. The Asrock Phantom Gaming does 43 frames per second. And the XFX Merc does 44 frames per second. So, like I said, it's about a $100 difference between the 6700 XTs, so that's actually really good. You paid less than the ASRock, and you got better performance. But pretty much after that, things start to change. It, we have Gears 5 Ultra Preset Benchmark. I pretty much had um, set everything to Ultra and just left it at the Ultra Preset. I didn't really mess with too much. And it's the benchmark, it's not the campaign or the multiplayer, so... Um, you probably get higher frames in the multiplayer. But the uh, Sapphire Pulse 6800 um, comes in at 95.1 frames per second. This is at 1440p. The ASRock Phantom Gaming comes in at 79.1 frames per second. And then the Merc, uh, 77.2 frames per second. At 1080p, the Sapphire Pulse 6800 comes in at 124.8 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming comes in at 109.2 frames per second, and then the XFX Merc comes in at 108.7 frames per second. So pretty much at 1440p, it does two frames less, and at 1080, it's one frame less. But, you know, like I said earlier, that price difference is a, a pretty big indicator of if what what's worth it or not. And then at Forza Horizon 4, um, it's also the Ultra Benchmark, that's the preset. The Sapphire Pulse 6800 at 1440p comes in at 173.5 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming comes in at 138.2 frames per second. And then the Merc tied it at 1440p with 138.2 frames per second. And then we go back down to 1080p. The Pulse comes in at 207.3 frames per second. The Phantom Gaming does 167.3 frames per second. And then the XFX Merc uh, does 166.2 frames per second. So at 1440p, it tied the Phantom Gaming. And at 1080p, it was one frame less. So w this is kind of a similar pattern we got going on. But let's continue and see the rest of the results. Um, Call of Duty Cold War uh, Ultra Preset. This is the campaign. The second mission I uh, tested this out at. At 1440p, the Sapphire Pulse 6800 had an average of 108 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming had an average of 87 frames per second. And the XFX Merc had a 86 frame per second average. When we drop down to 1080p, the Sapphire Pulse 6800 had 139 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT came in at 115 frames per second. And then the Merc tied at 115 frames per second. So one frame difference, and it tied at 1080p. So we, we hop on to Call of Duty Warzone, high settings. This one I pretty much just ran around the match. If I died or went to the Gulag, I had to restart the test. This is the average. It's hard to recreate the same scenarios in this, but Warzone is random, so I guess it's 
this is as fitting as I can get. It's not too bad though. But the Sapphire Pulse 6800 comes in at 153 frames per second at 1440p. The ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT comes in at 141 frames per second. And the XFX Merc 319 6700 XT comes in at 140 frames per second. At um, 1080p, we have the Sapphire Pulse 6800 at 180 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT at 163 frames per second. And the XFX Merc um, 319 6700 XT came in at 160 frames per second. So at 1440p, it was a one frame per second difference. And at um, 1080p, it was three frames per second difference. And of course, that's the 6700s we're comparing, not the 6800, which is about 20 frames per second difference, give or take. Um, but I mean, like I said, this is a similar pattern all the way through. And then of course we have the Cy uh, Cyberpunk Ultra preset. I tested this, uh, half of the, the test was in the vehicle, the other half was running around the city, but it was also the Ultra preset. So after I set it to Ultra, I didn't mess with anything. I left it as is. The Sapphire Pulse 6800 at 1440p comes in at 64 frames per second. Um, none of this is no ray tracing because um, I, I don't think ray tracing is there yet. I don't use it, but so that's just a quick disclaimer. The ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT comes in at 55 frames per second. And then the Merc 6700 XT comes in at 53 frames per second at 1440p. I feel like that's really good. The Sapphire Pulse 6800 uh, 1080p comes in at 78 frames per second. The ASRock Phantom Gaming actually came in higher at 79.8 frames per second. And then the Merc tied the 6800 at 78 frames per second. I don't know exactly what was going on there. Um, I might have to retest it, but I did it a couple times and I was getting the same thing. So who knows what happened, <laughs> but those are the results. Like I said, the, I believe the Merc wins against the Phantom Gaming. It, it is a hundred dollars cheaper and it's only about a one to three frame per second difference. On average, it's about one frame per second less, but I mean, you're saving $100, so I would definitely take that over the Phantom Gaming. Like I said um, earlier, the Phantom Gaming was my cousin's, so he has a ASRock motherboard, so he got lucky that he was able to purchase that, so that worked out for him. But for anyone else, if you don't have a ASRock uh, motherboard, I would definitely recommend the Merc. But right now, we're at a time where you just need to purchase whatever GPU is available if you don't have a new GPU or you've been wanting a new GPU. And of course, I'm sticking with the Sapphire Pulse. I ended up selling the XFX Merc to my friend. Um, he had everything, every component except for a GPU. So I sold it to him. I made about $10 off of it. Not bad. But I was considering making a Patreon. And whoever, like, um, I don't know if I was going to make tiers or not. I got to figure that out. But when I do have a GPU and available for sale, I would post it on there and you guys would be able to purchase it. Let me know if you like that idea. Comment down below if you guys would be down with that. But please hit like, um, hit subscribe, and please comment on the video. Let me know what you think of the results. Let me know what you think of the cards. Let me know if you think that's worth it or not. Let me know what GPU you guys have or um, which one you guys want to get. I do appreciate you guys taking the time and watching this. Um, this does take a good amount of work to do. But um, I hope you guys have a good day. And make sure to check out the... ASRock Phantom Gaming 6700 XT video as well. I also have the Sapphire Pulse one. And then the 3060 Ti video that I have on my page, I unfortunately couldn't compare the results to this because that's when I had the Ryzen 5 3600. But um, I ended up selling that card to my friend that lives out of state, so I can't compare the card no more. But anyways, as I get more cards, like I said, I'll se I could sell it to um, I could sell it to you guys that are watching. Just keep it updated. If not, I'd have to sell it on eBay. It, it would be used for like two hours just so I can test, test it out. But anyways, feel free to check out any other content on my channel. And I uh, hope to see you guys next week or on any other video I post. Have a good day.